Hello, Steve here again. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm detecting proximity of living tissue, i.e. myself, um, with these two wires. Now, in in the um, pro, in some previous videos I've done, I've always stated the importance about putting a grounding, uh, not grounding, um, a pull down resistor in uh, across the ground and the pin that you're um, sending data to, or like input to, I should say. Um, but in this one, I've, I mean, I've, I've also experiment in other ways. Um, I don't always want to go by the book. Now, in this one, as you notice, I've got the yellow wire connected to analog pin zero then connected to the board next to it which is then connected to a big red wire now if i was to bring you can notice the led flashing this is because i'm quite near to it now if i pan myself away from this a little bit refocus this again while i'm at it now you'll notice as i bring my hand closer the led will flash closer i am the steadier the led becomes um, this is due to an effect caused by me sitting on the ground, obviously. Well, sitting on a chair that's sitting on the ground, which is obviously causing an electrical field around myself out to the environment I'm standing in, and or sitting in, in this case. So when I bring my hand nearer, it's, the wire is picking up the potential voltage or current whichever way you want to look at this from my hand without going into too many technical words basically i'm causing a current to flow in that wire which is making the voltage to that header pin a lot higher than the threshold that i've set it to detect um which then triggers the led like um if you can see here i've got the serial plotter running and as I bring my hand closer, it will show, obviously, like bumps in the actual waveform. Um, I'm doing this like panning my hand away, like waving my hand in front of it, and it's obviously leaving like a a wavy form to it. Um, basically, by doing this to it. Um, now the way this is all detected. Um, programmatically is um, the program works very similar to a previous video I've done where I had a row of seven buttons um, wired into a, a few resistors in series um, so as you see here I've got the input set up as A0 um, the output set up as 12 but that's actually redundant in this case that's just where I recycled the code from that particular project, the tone generator with the seven buttons, I've just forgot to take that variable out. So ignore the output variable. Um, I actually come to think of it while I'm thinking about that. I think I'll do that now while I'm actually saying this to myself. It's good practice, I suppose. So I'm going to delete that. There you go. You can forget about that variable. Um, yeah, well, basically, well, yeah, it's moaning there as well. So I'm going to take that one out while I'm at it as well. As I said, that's redundant code. So if I just take that out and recompile it, make sure it's all compiling okay. Yep, yeah, that compiled and uploaded back to the Arduino. Completely fine. Anyway, getting back to this cutting out the rambling again uh do apologize for that i do have like a ramble now and again uh yeah uh actually i've set up an input pin set up a serial uh viewed rate as 9600 uh, and then i've got a loop here and all i'm doing i'm taking um a value from the analog input load it into that pin value variable there if the pin value is above 955 then 
switch LED on, else switch LED off. Um, now, I can demonstrate that part up on here. As you see, uh, trigger voltage is 955, but well, trigger value, um, wouldn't call it a voltage as such, but yeah, on here, you can see it's roughly sort of, I'd say that's at the moment roughly about nine. 960 ish and at the moment because on my arm is nearby this led is flickering to a point but if i actually move away from it again and do that uh, hopefully that's now gone down a bit led is fully off now so i'll take it that's just on the threshold of nine 950 to 955 and as i do that it will do put my hand here it obviously does all that goes up further up towards the thousand mark I'll take my hand away LED goes off and it drops back below 955 obviously it must be because the LED has now gone out um, but yeah uh, on this part here this, how I'm getting this data here is um, obviously I'm firing the data through the serial port through the USB lead back to this PC uh, but yeah, it's pretty pretty simple program. Um, as as usual, I'm going to leave this in the description below this video. Um, I'll also upload a circuit diagram when I submit this video to YouTube. But yeah, um, there's not really much more to say about this. But anyone out there playing one of these, I mean, set this circuit up, download the. Um, source code and uh yeah play around with this i mean there's also i mean i'll, I'll at some point i'm going to be experimenting probably do an external transistor circuit which would then give a higher um voltage out back to this pin because i'm going to eventually work out if i could actually do one where i can actually sense things further away see when i actually when I actually lower this threshold on here, um, and I and I sort of come in the room, it will flick, but sort of um, I wouldn't exactly say it's at a control rate. I, I found that if you want to do it at this at this proximity for experimental reasons, I found with this setup at least nine fifty five seems to be the sweet spot. Obviously, if you've got a bigger wire, it will probably need to be a higher threshold because obviously it will pick up more field effect around yourself but yeah as i say it's not exactly serving any purpose this is just me basically having a hack around just experimenting as say what the effect would have been without a pull down resistor and this is obviously the result um, I, I expected something like this to happen anyway. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's the end of this video. Um, I know it's a bit long-winded and rambling on. It's just uh, I'm better at doing things and explaining things, really. Uh, so, yeah, as I say, look in the description below. You'll find the source code, the circuit diagram, be f feel free to play around with it maybe you'll come up with a better solution than i have like this i mean especially if you're a noob i mean like this can pave your way i'm pretty still i'm still pretty new to the arduino not new to electronics by any means but i mean i've been using arduino now for probably close to a few weeks and I'm learning new things almost every day. So hopefully you will too. These videos, hopefully they're going to serve some purpose to you. Um, anyway, that's the end of this vid. Have fun. Cheers for watching. Catch you a lot later.